Hey guys, it's Julia here, and my friend and I are back with more Insider Bugs. It's been a while since we've done it, since we've both been busy, but we're back to do some more bugs, so say hi. Hello. Hi. And we are going to do a combination of Windows 11 and Windows 10 bugs. Alright, so we're starting with Windows 11 build 25905, which is the most recent out of these because it was released July 2023. And it actually had a lot of changes, but a lot of bugs as well. One of those bugs being, the system may get stuck at the boot screen when booting into safe mode due to failure when initializing the canonical display driver, cdd.dll. Now what if I need to go to safe mode if my computer doesn't boot? Well, too bad. I can't. It just won't happen. I won't be able to get into safe mode at all, unfortunately, on that build, most mm. likely. The safely remove a hardware icon in the system tray on the taskbar may disappear sometimes. How am I going to eject the, my devices? Am I going to have to yank it out? <laughs> I guess so. Or just turn your computer off God and damn it. it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one's funny. Devices with the SUS motherboards may fail to perform an in-place upgrade to this build. Well, I guess I'm stuck on the previous build and I can't upgrade and like I don't want to reinstall Windows. So I'm just going to have to sit on this other build <laughs> yeah. until they fix it and, be, and have less security updates. Well, oh well. Oh yeah, I'd be stuck with the previous bugs too. That built yeah. like lots of bugs. That had the most, <laughs> I know. That had the most bugs of all the ones we're gonna say. Now we're on Windows 11 build 23506. When logging into safe mode, Explorer.exe may throw an unknown hard error error and get stuck in a crash loop due to the error code access in access invalid exception when faulting module holographic extensions.dll well uh, am i gonna have to use command prompt for this or what because i'm not gonna try to repair it because i don't know code you're not gonna be able to because it's an yeah that has a known bug microsoft would have to fix that <laughs> and plus like they use like assembly or something i don't know <laughs> probably mm. same focus to the address bar by pressing alt d Control L or F4 may not work. What? Uh, I have no idea what the focus to the address bar is. I don't know what that is. Anyways, now we're on Windows 10 build 21354. Um, Cobalt build. So, some USB attached printers might not work in this build. I guess I can't print my important documents that I need for work. You know, this is a great example mm. of why you shouldn't main insider. Yeah, or, I mean, you could use Bluetooth if it supports it, but, oh well. Some people use USB, though, so... <laughs> yeah. But imagine a workplace right. just running an insider build. I, I highly <laughs> oh, doubt it, no. but they'd be really doing something wrong if they were doing that. <laughs> yeah. The update process to this build has a chance of hanging for extended periods of time. By the time it's finished, I'm already sleeping. Same, honestly. Kudos to you, Mi Kudos to you, Microsoft. Yeah, good, good. <laughs> Making us wait so long for updates. Yeah. Alright, Windows 10 build 21376. Some devices may show a warning in the taskbar notification area stating that your Windows 10 version has reached end of service. Well, I guess Insider has reached his time. Time to go back to stable. This is end of service now. <laughs> More like that build's now expired. Yep. <laughs> That's yeah. Not the recording, but if someone saw yeah, that, the they'd be so thing. confused. They'd be like, "Excuse me, <laughs> yeah. well, what do you mean this a disservice?" <laughs> yeah. That's how to scare someone. <laughs> yeah. The next build is Windows 10 build 21390.1. I believe this was the last Windows 10 Insider before 11, and this one had a lot of bugs mm. too. But we're only gonna say one of them. Yeah. In some cases, audio and video devices that are installed on the system may not work despite showing up in Device Manager. How the f am I going to use my computer properly? Might not use it at all then. Just throw it out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll just throw a brick at it. There you go. <laughs> Problem <laughs> solved. Throw a brick at it and make it work. <laughs> or more like it's going to break yeah. it more. Yeah, crack it. Crack my side panel, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Or just crack another computer and be like, this is better. Yeah, just pull up my Dell. <laughs> or your phone. Windows 10 build 21382.1. The text may appear in the Times New Roman font in the upgrading and welcome animation screens. 
Well, that's gonna look ugly. Some people are gonna hate it and complain, especially my friend that doesn't like ugly fonts. They'd probably scream, WHY IS IT IN TIME'S NEW ROMAN? You might as well just chuck another brick at the screen. Yep, chuck another brick at the screen and yell at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't run in cider, guys. This is why. <laughs> yeah. Then again, all these builds are expired, except probably the 11 ones. Or the first one. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> So, who's going to be running these builds? Hopefully no one. Exactly. Alright, so now we have Windows 10 build 21322. When launching some games, there is a chance that the system will crash with an hypervisor underscore error GSOD. Which means a green screen of death. Is my gaming PC a, a brick or what? I guess, I can't play games. Well, at least I oh, oh, well, that's a shame. I guess Probably you can't play Fortnite. <laughs> Then go play Wait, Minecraft or something. <laughs> Unless that nah, probably too. Minecraft will. <laughs> I probably can't play Cyberpunk. Who cares about that game anyway? Exactly. Alright. When an Xbox controller is connected and the device is shutting down, restarting, or entering sleep, it may hang. Well, there goes my power bill along with my computer. <laughs> Experience <all these laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we have Windows 10 build 21337.1000. Certain NVMe devices may result in disk resets, causing system lockups and poor system performance, and or may cause a WHEA uncorrectable error bug check. Well, I think my SSD is on its way out. Most will think this oh, isn't even a bug. They'll think their SSD's dead. This is kind of scary. Yeah, well, adios SSD. Uh, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah. Now we have Windows 10 build 21343.1000. When taskbar.dll's taskbar is used instead of explore.exe's taskbar, the search box will have a broken UI. Well, what kind of broken UI? Is it going to make my computer unusable? <laughs> or is it going to make it faster? I'll just disable search. I don't use it. Who cares? Everything's better anyway. Nah, yeah, true. Oh, All right. We have a, a bonus build. build for you guys. Mm. Which is Windows 10 right. Mobile Build 10581. Devices may experience a black screen of death uh, for five minutes between spinning gears and final stage of the update. This exact time may depend on the device itself. Oh, some people may think that the device is bricked. Yep, and they might uh, try and, you know, turn it off and then experience even a, a real brick and then not be able to use it. You know, there's a reason Windows Phone is dead. App support mm. and the bugs. Who's gonna use they'll the probably phone? <laughs> they'll probably go into that cracked HP pavilions and just go into Microsoft uh, like what answers.microsoft.com and just start whining about the phone dying. Yep. <laughs> my mom used to have oh one this phone. She didn't like it because of app support. I I have one right now. I have one with me right now, and well, yeah. I like it, but I wish app support was better. Same. Honestly, I wish it was too because I might get a Windows phone to mess with. But, yeah. anyways, that is all the builds and bugs that we have for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Before I end the video, I'll just say don't main Windows Insider builds because you might experience bugs like this. And for someone that needs their computer to be stable and needs it to work, Insider is not a good option. I've experienced bugs before. I've experienced blue screens on my computer. And it's not fun. Yeah, and don't be like me and main them all the time because you don't know what bug you might get. Because for me, I mained it and my co my whole entire computer crashed for no apparent reason whatsoever. Yeah, and just because each insider has bugs, it doesn't mean you're going to experience that exact bug. But there's definitely a chance you might experience it because yeah. different per systems, some systems behave differently to different builds than others. Yeah, and to be honest... Even if it's stable or not, I still wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, but I might make a video showing some insider builds, maybe some of the bugs if I can encounter any, but mm. I might make videos showing builds. If you guys are interested in that, leave a comment on what build I should show a video on. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to wrap up the video since it's basically 12 minutes now. So thanks for watching, and say bye. See ya. Bye.